I mean, and being part of something that's built is, is probably more satisfactory, but a lot of times kids don't have the patience to do that, which yeah, that takes you right. back to those blue collar guys. You, you know, right. they're, they're used to working. Yeah, we, we were just talking to the, the, the coach at Eisenhower High School, yeah, right? Angel. We were just talking to Angel, and um, I, I asked him, Do you have any good players? And, and my first question right away is, How mature is he? Yeah. Uh, you know, I want to dig into the personality yeah. before I, I dig into the skill set. Yeah. Um, when I look back on my career as a recruiter and I look at, and believe me, I was very green when I started. You know, I didn't, I didn't know what it was supposed to look like, what would translate from high school to the Division One level. It's such a big jump that a lot of kids don't realize how big right. it is. Um when I look back and I think of all of the players that were really, really good, number one, it didn't, I didn't have to convince them that where I was coaching was the best fit for them. Um, and, and the second is that they, they never lost that chip on their shoulder to mm -hmm. prove that they were good. I've had several walk on uh, recruits that surpassed players that were on 75, 80%. Uh, performance-wise on the field over the course of their career because they they came in with an edge to try and prove something yeah so when I re when I'm recruiting and as you know in baseball you can't give everyone full rides so we're an equivalency sport we're, we're very limited everyone's on a partial scholarship so when I confront a player and I say hey I don't have any scholarship money for you you can be a recruited walk-on and you can earn your way and when a kid shows you no fear and says that's fine i don't mm -hmm. care i love those kids <laughs> those kids end up being you know Sh shane bieber is a great example he's yeah. in the he's in the big leagues and, and he walked on with no guarantee and as a matter of fact his senior year in the fall he called me begging for a scholarship and i and this is how good i am i said no <laughs> go somewhere else if you want to <laughs> um and he and he said okay uh, i'll just show you how good i am and and the the kids that that show you that confidence and and their ability and and can't go to sleep comfortably in their college dorm room you mm -hmm. know because they they need to get there's just something pulling at them at the field and, and and maybe it's just that insecurity of not having a spot yeah. sometimes that goes a lot further than having talent in my experience 